Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look at a link shortener tool called S-Ink. This tool uh, can help you shorter your links. Basically, I'm using link shorteners for my uh, links that I'm putting into articles to track the visitors, to make them more uh, nice for the visitors. And in this video, we're going to see how we can install the S-Ink tool. Basically, this will only run on uh, Cloudflare pages with some Cloudflare services. So you don't need to pay anything to have this tool uh, self-hosted. You can put it on your own domain or your subdomain. It's up to you. Let's go and uh, check the tool. So this is the, the tool. You see that it's installed on a subdomain that I have and here I've added some test links. So for instance, if you are going to go in here and you fetch this, you will be redirected to the main website bidos.com. And this is just to show you how this tool is working. And uh, you see that I've added some links in here. So the process is very simple. You can go and create the links. And in here you can paste your URL. In here you have the slug that you can insert. So let's take this as a test. As you put the URL in here, you can create some random things if you want, like the slug. You have also AI integrated that will help you create the slug. You see in here it created and in the optional thing, you have the options to add comments and pick an expiration date for your links. So when you finish, you just save it like this. And uh, the other things in here is the fact that you can choose between the light and the dark mode. So it's up to you how you can uh, see this. And yeah, the interface is very simple right now. It uh, doesn't have a lot of features. You can even uh, tag the, the link so we can better categorize them. And uh, the other good thing is the, let's see, is the analytics tab. And in here you see that I have uh, like the analytics and in here we have the visitors with so refill. It, this is using also Cloudflare analytics beta for this. And in here we have the locations with a map, with the regions, with city from where the clicks were done. And in here you have the refer. So for instance, you see that this were with direct, this were on my website. I added a link in there so I can have some, something. Languages with time zones in here. In here you have the device, you see. You have the OS, you have the browser in here. And basically these are the these are the things that this tool is offering. It's, it's very fast because it's using only Cloudflare things and in here I have the repo for this tool. This is the repo S Inc. And uh, you see here that it has like a lot of stars. This is quite new. It has only a couple of months, but I see it's actively worked. And right now it has some releases and you have some forks because to be able to install it, you need to fork it in your own repo and then go into cluster pages and configure some things in there. Basically in a couple of minutes, you will have this tool uh, self-hosted on Cloudflare for free, but you will need a Cloudflare account to have this, this done. And yeah, this is the website and these are the, the details. You see that this tool is done with uh, Nuxt. It's using Cloudflare Workers KV for the database. It has the analytics engines from Cloudflare. It's using the Shad CN and using Tailwind and, and so on. So this is also the steps that you need to follow. So I've already installed it and we are going to, to install it again. I've already created an article with all of these things also in here that we're going to, to follow. So the first thing that we need to do is to go and fork this repository. So you can go and uh, fork it. So let me open this again. Okay. So right now I've opened the repository and the first thing that we need to do is to fork it. So we can go in here, create a new fork. And in here you can put the name. I'll put it like this. And I will just copy the master branch and hit create fork. So right now the fork will be created with the, the code. We need to wait for a minute. Okay. So right now I have the repository added under my uh, sync uh, dash bidose. The next thing that we need to go is to go to Cloudflare and in here I have the pages. And uh, in here, what I will do, I will create a new page. So under workers pages, you have the overview and you need to create the pages. Here you will be prompted to worker and pages. You need to choose pages. And in here you need to connect a JIT. I already have JIT connected. If you don't already have it, 
you will need to connect it uh, initially, but in my case, it's already connected. And in here, you can go and choose the repository you have created. And in my case, it is the async bidoze. And I will hit begin setup. And in here, you will choose the project name. I will let it like this. You will choose the master branch for this, the framework preset, and you this is using the noxt.js like this. And uh, in here, we have the root directory. You leave it like this. You have some environment variables that you need to, to add. So the environment variable is the noxt site token. Basically, this will be the password that you use to access the dashboard. And I will go and add a variable in here and I will put like uh, something like that. It has to have minimum eight characters. Then the, ad the other thing that we need to do is the Cloudflare account ID and that you can go and uh, fetch it. Let me open a new Cloudflare and we are going to go and fetch the account ID. I will go to my websites and I will choose one website from, from here. And in here you have the account ID and I will go and add it. Okay. Next thing that we need to add, it will need to create an API key for this and it will be called the Nuxt Cloudflare API token and it will need to have the account account analytics. I will show you how you can do that. So I will go in here and add this variable name. I will go in here and in here under your profile, you need to go to the to the my profile and we have the API tokens. And in here you can create an API token. You can hit create the token like this. And in here you have the analytics, read analytics and log. You can use this template if you if you want. And you can let only the analytics things if you want in here like this. And you can choose for a specific zone like this. This will be for this account. It depends on what you, you want. And in here I will continue to summary, create token. And right now you have the token created and you can go and add it in, in here. And right now this should be enough and you can hit the save and deploy. So the project to be started and created. And what will happen right now, you can cancel this because we need to configure other things. And I will cancel the build for now. And then we need to go into these settings, into the settings of this. So this is a project like this. And in here you have settings and you have functions for this. And in here you will have some things that you need to configure like the KV namespace and you need to add a binding. Also I put it in, in here. And in here you see that I've added the address configuration under settings function. And in here, let's go and configure these things. And let's go and add the KV, add the binding. And right here, it will be called the KV. And you can select the KV nam namespace. You can go and create one if you don't have in the beginning. You can create a namespace like this in here. You can go under KV namespaces and you can put the, for instance, the S ink test like this and right now I have two one is the previous one and this one is the new one I will go again to the Cloudflare pages and into the settings in function under KV in here you can add the binding so the KV it will be the variable name and in here you can choose from the KV, KV namespace I'll choose the second one to not have any links Okay, I will hit save. So right now the KV, it's, uh, it's added and this is what it will be used. And the other things that you can set in here, you have the options to add the AI, work AI bindings. And in here you can click uh, like this and you can put a variable name like AI in here and hit save. And this will use the AI. Okay, and then you will have the analytics engine bindings and you can hit uh, preview production in here and maybe this thing is not enabled in the beginning but in case it's not enabled you'll have a button in here just to enable the analytics engine bindings and you can add a binding in here and it will be called analytics 
let me check it in here like this analytics and it will be as ink the one that will be used for this so analytics as ink i'll hit save okay so right now we have the analytics bindings to use the analytics with cloudflare we will have the ai added and we have the kv added where the links will be stored like this so we have everything set up for this right now what we should do is to go to deployments and uh, start again so for instance if you are in here you click like this and in here you click the view details and like this retry deployment and right now we should wait for this to to start and this should take a couple of minutes basically like two minutes okay so right now we see that the build has finished you see that building application it took about one minute and 31 seconds and right now uh, everything gets uh, built and if you go and uh, access this let's go again in here like this and right now you should have a domain added and you see that automatic deployments are enabled so every time when you fetch the latest version of this it will build everything for you so if we go like this and in here i will put the password let me go and fetch the password and the password is this one you will see that right now this is uh, working like this and yeah you have the analytics details because you already i already had this installed so it will fetch the set that was previously there that's why you have some details but for links we can go and create a new link for this but before let's hook up a domain with this so in here on the worker pages you have the custom domain option and in here you need to set up a custom domain you can do that and the domain uh, it can be added it can be one that it's already in cloudflare or a new one i will add for instance like link to dot bdos.com um, what this thing will do it will tell you to use the link to on this uh, page i'll hit continue and right now you see that uh, it will add this dns record basically if you don't host it on uh, on cloudflare can go and copy the CNAME details into your DNS provider. I, for mine, I will just activate it. Right now, this thing should be completed. Okay. Let me try and see. Link to endose.com. Right now, it's working. It has a SSL certificate. We can go and access the dashboard like this. And we can go and create a link. So, for instance, I'll create a link like this and in here let's ask AI to generate one for us so you see that the Bidoze is sync you can go and put the optional things and you can go and save it so right now this is working you have the QR code for this if you want and if you go and open it you see that it will be sending you to this to the link that we have set so everything is configured and right now for instance if we go and check just the kv things so you can see it you will see in here that you will have a record and basically you have the key and these are the urls and it's a basic structure it has id and the url with slug and uh, yeah and then if for instance when you want to update it you just uh, use the sync fork so you can uh, fetch the latest things in case there are no versions that are out there but right now there there aren't so yeah like like this you are uh, installing the s ink uh, link shortener i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, this tool it's helping you to to create some nice links for your uh, application or for your use cases in case you like the tool please go and uh, at the start of the repository because it's uh, looking promising and we need the developer to work on on this tool a link you can find it in here you can go and add a star like this and uh, yeah thanks for for watching and uh, see you in the next video